through my ankle cap there for checkoffs. So before entering the patient's room, I'm going to review the patient's chart, check for any new doctor orders or changes. Um, then you can gather your supplies. Most of the time, the easy pap stuff is kept in the patient's room. Um, then you can uh, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Lee with Respiratory Therapy. I'm here to do some easy pap therapy with you. It'll only take about 10 to 15 minutes, and it just helps break up those secretions in your chest and make it easier for them to get out. Um, can I verify your name and date of birth? Then I'll wash my hands. Um, then you can begin. You'll listen to the lung and breast sounds. Make sure everything sounds up, sounds the way it should. Um, check their oxygen with the oximeter, and then you can begin. You'll hook your Easy Pop up to five liters. Sometimes the patient's unable to reach those levels, so you'll you can always turn it up higher. Um, then you will have the patient hold it up to their mouth. They will take a deep breath in, take a deeper breath, and they'll exhale. Um, you'll want to have them do it about 10 times and then cough. Try to get some of those secretions out. Um, you'll want it done about 4 times a day, 10 to 15 times, and then coughing. Um, you'll, sometimes they'll feel a flutter in their chest. That's just the secretions breaking up and making their way up. Um, then you will um, do an assessment afterwards, listen to their lung and breast sounds, have the patient cough again, and then you can let them know you'll be back to do another therapy session with them later on. Um, make sure they have everything they need, turn the oxygen off, ensure safety, and wash hands and exit the room.